bridle ride. It's a uh, first AC call of the season. I gotta get up on this roof here. It's either a carrier or a Bryant package unit. And uh, yeah, I got the AC gone. It's not that hot. It's like 81 degrees, but inside that store, I think it said 87 degrees inside the sandwich shop. Let's see what we're getting into. I'm gonna pull her in right here. And then they got their crap right in front of the ladder where I wanna put my extension ladder. I don't have the key for the for this ladder, but I put my extension ladder right here. So let me move this stuff here real quick. I want you to go up right here. I'll bring you guys along for the troubleshooting. You can see me through the mirror of the car right there. Hey, everybody. Um, NorCal's tip of the day. For you young guys, get the straw hat when you're working in the sun. It's like having an umbrella. Um, for all the years I've done it and all the different hats I've worn, nothing beats the old little straw hat, little beach hat. Um, leave a comment below if you guys use the old beach hat. I want to know how many of us are doing that. It's absolutely the best. Keep your face from getting sunburned, the whole deal. Um, and it's got the strap for the wind, so you can tighten it up under your chin and then let her rip. Let's get up there. All right, we're up here on the roof. I'm trying to remember which one. I think it's that one down there. Uh, looks like a Bryant Carrier Bryant It's all the same day and night ICP That one's running Oh that's the Yeah that's I know what store that one goes to Okay Man This is the one that's not working Right here Number six, nothing. Before we open the panel, let's see if even the disconnect's on. It's a great place to start. Okay, it's on. Oh, that's suspect. See what I'm seeing? Sixty ampers. Let's get the meter and we'll start and see if the fuses are any good. It's probably a good place to start. I got it off. I want to check the fuses for voltage, um, for continuity, pardon me. I'm getting ahead. I was thinking I want to check voltage after this. That fuse is good. That fuse is good. So the fuses are good. Let me, uh, let's go to volts. And let's check to the top here. Try and hold the camera. Let's see. There's a good start. It looks like no voltage coming up to the unit. So I need to check the breaker down there at the, in the store. And what I can do here is we can uh, check the other end of the contactor for direct shorts. But it looks like the breaker downstairs is off. open up this panel before we go downstairs and take a sniff. These panels on these Bryant units were notorious for stripping out everywhere. Let's see this one. Four screws in it. That's it. Sections all rusted out. I don't even think they use heat on this. Look at that control board. That dirty little bird right here. Checking out a direct short to ground just right off the bat. So that's good. Um, surprising, the filters super clean, probably because it hasn't been running, and the evaporator coil is clean. So I think at this stage of the game. We will, uh, I'll turn the disconnect off up here. We'll go downstairs and turn the breaker on. And, uh, and then we can try and restart this thing up here. Oh, 
ocean crest oleum. I wonder how if they turn the dust. They got a little bit of life left in them. Up there, it's starting to turn the dust. See, life by the water. Oh yeah, there is a hose bib up there. So I could probably, I might make it with both hoses stretched out for a little wash up with the coil. All right, let's go get the breaker on. It's a three it's a three pole breaker but a single phase unit interesting this is the stuff you find out there you guys so that's a three pole breaker but it's only a single phase unit okay and that breakers that breaker is a 50 amp and get two hands in the goodies um breakers three pole 50 amp the breaker should actually trip before the fuses those fuses were 60s this is the thermostat for the unit there's the ice maker discharge air from the ice maker is going right onto the thermostat that's no good i'm hoping that's the wire right there that one let me see if i can zoom in yeah right there that's the wire i could pull it back Put it down the wall i'd put it right over here i'd move the thermostat to right there that's what i'm thinking right now oh man that would make it a lot a lot nicer for uh because that's not going to shut off because of the heat from the ice maker and then you're gonna have iced up coil iced up coilitis so this is the registers for that unit that's the supplies. What did they do? Oh, there's the return. It's almost like a residential. It's got one return right there. You're kidding me, right? That's it? One, re one little return. I think that's a four ton unit. Might be a three ton, but I think it's a four. Yeah, <laughs> typical. That's what you get. That's my return air. I can't believe it. Don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna jump up here real quick. I wanna look at the plenums. No, okay, they got another return up there. See, I knew there had to be more. They got a big return, so they're making all this area of return air. All that area is my return. Okay, I feel a little better. So that's your supply trunk. That's your return. And then they also ran this return to it. It goes up and then loops back around and in to the plenum. So they're pulling one return for under here for the workers and, they're, and they got some supplies tapped in also. They got one register over there, two, three, and then yeah, three and a return. And then all this supply trunk. All right, let's get to the roof and see if we can get this thing to run. And then if we get it, that all checked out, then we'll work on moving this thermostat over. It'll make a big difference to move it from there if I can get it over into here. Zoom to the zoom and the boom boom. 
just shake the rock. <laughs> Rolling out the hose, baby. That could be my next song. Rolling out the hose. Do, 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 Rolling out the hose. You guys saw me jogging up there and thought you were watching 10 like Bo Derek and shit, huh? If you're too young to know what that is, go look that up. Go look it up on YouTube. The movie 10, 1 0, Bo Derek jogging on the beach. And you'll have a good laugh. All right, let's, uh, let's turn the power on. I got the fan set for constant fan, except for cooling. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's a good sound. All right, let's do the uh, do some gauging up and that kind of stuff. I'll uh, <laughs> left my iPad at home where I'd show you guys what it looks like right now, but I'll show you on screenshots. Uh, I left the iPad at home from filming that stupid mass song, and uh, I got the uh, air probes inside the unit and the clamps on and the pressure probe. So let's take a look at the measure quick and see what it's looking like. This is the old R22 unit, old timer. You guys won't be able to read the label. They painted it, but I can read it. So she's an oldie but a goodie. So let's take a look at the measure quick. All right, here we go. <clears throat> you can see the pressure, the head pressure is a little bit high. Everything else is looking within spec. Um, and I'll cycle through it here. I'm doing a voiceover, so if it's if it's not on time with the uh, progressions of the readings, uh, hang in there. Um, I'm just trying to let you guys know what I was looking at when I was up there. I did check the BTU ratings, the uh, split. You can tap on any of the of the icons on the gauges, and it'll give you information about that particular reading. On Measure Quick, Jim Bergman's done an awesome job with this app. Thanks, Jim. Um, I'm 100% sold on this thing. Um, and if you look at the timing on this, you know, other than the time of hooking up the gauges, I think we're at about three minutes to check out this whole package unit to see if it's if it's working good. And if you get one that's working good, you know, I'm not checking my uh, total external static on the units. We were taught if, if you don't want to get the ductwork involved, you can check the system with your manometers. Now they have manometer probes. You could uh, you can put them in the unit up on the roof and at least know that at the package unit, you have the correct uh, static pressure. I didn't do that on this. I don't have those probes. I do have a manometer on the truck, but I didn't break it out. Everything else we checked, and it checked out fine. I know the duct works good on this system because I looked at it, even though I was complaining about the returner at first until I found that second return. Uh, there's adequate duct work for this four-ton unit. 
Yeah, you'll see the head pressure is high there. I'm going to end up washing the coil on this unit and the head pressure gets a lot better. So just running my checks and, uh, you know, the okay, charge so is from good. So everything I showed you on measure quick, uh, the units with the inspects, I know the charge is good. It's working away. The head pressure is high. I need to wash this coil out for sure. So I got some coil cleaner. I'm going to give this coil a wash out. And then I think I'm going to try and move that thermostat. We'll see if... Uh, I either get my extension ladder in there. I don't think my six footer is gonna reach. And I don't have an eight foot ladder on the truck, but I might be able to get my extension ladder in the store. And uh, let's get this coil cleaned up. We'll get it restarted, see how it looks. And then I'll see about moving that thermostat downstairs. That's a, that's a big issue with this unit for sure. So uh, let's get into that here. Uh, I'm gonna wash the coil and I'm gonna wash that drain pan out while I'm up here. All right, I just picked up a walk-in box call while I'm up here tripping the breaker should be interesting we'll get this uh tidied up and uh we'll go check out that walk-in box job all right we've got the condenser washed i got water coming out of the pee trap looks like somebody had cut that before so they might have had some issues but i had washed the drain out it had a bunch of boogers in it condensers cleaned out and uh Take another look at the numbers. I think that coil's a little too wet though, it'll be a little misleading right after washing it. But let's talk about HVAC stuff. So let me turn the camera around. All right. So you're an HVAC technician. It's hot, you've been running calls all day. You probably drank a gallon of water, maybe a gallon and a half. And you're on the roof, you're crushing the package units. And uh, you got to take a wee wee, man. And it's like, well, what do you do? You know, you can't whip it out right here. What if someone in the parking lot sees you? You could be labeled a sex offender or something. That's serious business, man. I mean, you'd be up here doing the pee pee dance like crazy, and you got to be real smart about where you're going to go relieve yourself, you know? something to think about well, like you got enough on your plate already I'm trying to remember how Linux units work or a rude unit wow something sounds terrible over here then you got to figure out where you're gonna go pee oh condenser fan motor maybe I don't service that space, but I'll have to let them know. Maybe I can hustle up and change out. I think I got that motor on my truck, too. I'll be in there doing the thermostat right now, but I gave them a price to move the thermostat. And uh, they're making sandwiches. Hey, there he is. That's my mask. I pull it down over my face. But, uh... Yeah, so that's that one. First AC call of the season for me. I don't do a lot of ACs. But uh, we, we get them. So I got a walking box down next. And I'll, I'll put that. Hopefully I'll get some video on that. We'll put it on a separate video. It's tripping breakers. So let's do it.